What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the um, ESP LTD Signature Series James Hetfield guitar, um, the Snake Bite, and uh, we're going to be going over uh, how it sounds uh, on the clean channel, and then we're going to put a little distortion in there. I'm going to be running it through this Boss Katana amp, and uh, it's got a bunch of built-in effects and stuff, so we'll go through all of that. Um, but basically, it's a it's an explorer style body um, guitar, and it's got uh, two humbuckers. They're the EMG headset pickups, and uh, it's got a toggle switch here and uh, two knobs. It's just a standard six-string electric guitar, and uh, it's got locking tuners. And this is the snow white color. Um, it comes in, uh, I believe, a satin black. And there's like um, a baritone version of this that comes in like a tiger looking purple and uh, a few other variants. Um, there's also an ESP branded edition of this guitar that's a lot more expensive. This is the LTD. And uh, from what I've seen online, these are going for about $1,500 right now. This is December 2020, so that's going to change. Um, I don't think they make them anymore, so you're either going to get them like second-handed or from someone who's selling them um, online somewhere. But um, from what I've seen, they're about $1,500. Um, I've wanted this guitar for years, and I finally purchased it I've owned it for like probably five months or so and I've really enjoyed it it's got some really good sounds so we're gonna go ahead with some demos of uh, some on the clean uh, channels and we're gonna run some uh, effects with it as well um, and I'll uh, comment what effects I'm using and whatnot when I'm playing it okay guys this is on the clean setting um, on this amp and uh, it's got the clean acoustic the crunch the lead and the brown channels um, so we're on the clean channel uh, I've got the gain on and uh, I've got a little bit of flanger delay and reverb mixed in there just for like the uh, theatrics if you will but uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, Metallica sanitarium here just to uh, show you a little bit of what it sounds like. just out of the amp and then letting the camera pick up the audio it's definitely not the best way to do it I should have a, a, a microphone down here but I don't really have the right equipment to be capturing the audio the best I could so this is really the best I can do right now but uh, as you can see it's got that just nice bright rich tone about it that I love in a guitar um, so I'm gonna play Let's see. I'll leave the settings the same and we'll play a little bit of Fear the Reaper here. tone to it and it, it just sings paces here a little bit and uh, switch up the effects some and uh, get back with some heavier stuff here okay I have the amp set to the brown uh, channel now with still a little bit of flanger delay and reverb added in <laughs> Great 
crunchy, nice, distorted sound to it. sounding guitar, I love it. on clean with all the effects turned off. This is on the Crunch channel. this toggle here it's just whether or not you have this pickup active this pickup active or both the bottom is the brightest the middle is a little softer and then the softest so I prefer it in the middle it just sounds better to me that way This is on the acoustic setting. I need to turn the volume up a little on that one.
just a few comments about this guitar if you guys are thinking about getting it. Um, just expect it to be heavier than you're used to because it's just a bigger body than what I've been used to and I've played Les Paul, Stratocasters, uh, that kind of body style. Um, but this is an Explorer body style. It's like magnified though. It's got like the, all this meat through here that you wouldn't normally have. But I've found that it's more balanced like the pivotal point is somewhere like right here where it rests on your leg. So it's in that sense, it's a pretty good like set down and play guitar. It's really comfortable while sitting down. But I've noticed when I stand up, like the strap really weighs heavy on my shoulder after a few minutes. So as far as like gigging or live performances, this one might be a little fatiguing. You might need like a shoulder strap with some padding to help you out there. But the features of this guitar, I've already told you about the pickups. Uh, as far as the aesthetics here, it's uh, all gloss. Um, even the back of the neck here is gloss. On the back of the guitar, gloss white. Um, this is an Indonesian model. Um, so I know some of them were made uh, in different places and apparently some of them, some of the quality of some of the Indonesian made ones or other country made um, guitars have been known to be here and there. But this one is flawless. I haven't seen any kind of hair cracks in any of the paint or any D-Lamb or anything like that. Um, this guitar features a, uh, looks like some kind of cobra snake, and it's in the shape of a J for James Hetfield, and uh, it's kind of got this wound up, like musical um, looking symbol there. And uh, that's about it as far as the looks go. The, the most unique feature of this guitar is definitely the body shape, and uh, like these little hooks here it's like reminiscent of the Metallica's M um, and the here that's the main differences between this and an Explorer is just the the body shape this in here like you can imagine where a regular Explorer would be cut somewhere like here this has all that filled in and just kind of like a little swoop um, where the straps hook in is a little precarious um, this strap, it kind of, you, you hook it on like backwards so that it remains straight to your shoulder. And then this one back here, I've noticed it kind of, when you stand up with it, it tends to rub the body of the guitar just because of where it's at. And that's fine, but it will cause the paint to start wearing if you put a strap on it a lot and you stand up and you're moving, you know, it, it'll cause some wear. Um, but other than that, the string set very, very low to the fretboard on this guitar. It's very easy to be played. It's got plastic housings here for the uh, pickups. This is all steel here on the back. We have a uh, plastic toggle switch and these knobs here are made from uh, steel or aluminum. They're some kind of metal. Alright guys, here is the case that it comes with. It's a form-fitted case. It's got this uh, like gray, um, like soft material, almost like hair type stuff on the inside, like felt. And uh, it fits it perfectly all the way around. And then the neck just rests on this middle part here. And then there's a big large cutout up here for the head. And it's got this uh, pretty large compartment to keep like, you know, pick cases or uh, strings, that kind of stuff in. But uh, it just closes. It has four of these latches here. Just the common latch and pull down lock. It's got a keyed lock right here and uh, the case looks like this it's got this white striping here with the leather caps 
and the ESP logo on the end. It's a really nice case to come with it as a bonus. And in case you guys were curious, this is the amp I was using to play in this video. And here are the settings. A little dusty. But a very good amp to pair with this guitar. Thank you guys for watching my review of this awesome guitar. And uh, Merry Christmas from my family to yours.